Let us rejoice and be glad and give glory to God, the Lord our God, the Almighty, reigns. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. Amen. Amen. My brothers and sisters in Christ, welcome. Uh, today we celebrate Mass for Tuesday, the fourth week of Easter. For those of you at home, please pray with me the guardian angel prayer. The guardian angel at my side, go to the church for me. Kneel in my place the Holy Mass where I desire to be. At offertory in my stead, take all I am and own and place it as a sacrifice upon the altar throne. That holy consecration's bell, adore with seraph's love. My Jesus hidden in the host, come down from heaven above. And when the priest communion takes, so bring my Lord to me, that his sweet heart may rest in mine, and I his temple be. Again, brothers and sisters, welcome. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you healed the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, have mercy in us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that celebrating the mysteries of the Lord's resurrection, we may merit to receive the joy of our redemption. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Those who had been scattered by the persecution that arose because of Stephen went as far as Phoenicia, Cyprus, and Antioch, preaching the word to no one but Jews. There were some Cypriots and Cyrenians among them, however, who came to Antioch and began to speak to the Greeks as well, proclaiming the Lord Jesus. The hand of the Lord was with them, and a great number who believed turned to the Lord. The news about them reached the ears of the church in Jerusalem, and they sent Barnabas to Antioch. When he arrived and saw the grace of God, he rejoiced and encouraged them all to remain faithful to the Lord in firmness of heart, for he was a good man, filled with the Holy Spirit and faith. And a large number of people was added to the Lord. Then he went to Tarsus to look for Saul, and when he had found him, he brought him to Antioch. For a whole year they met with the church and taught a large number of people. And it was in Antioch that the disciples were first called Christians. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. All you nations, praise the Lord. All, All you nations, nations, praise the Lord. His foundation upon the holy mountains the Lord loves. The gates of Zion, more than any dwelling of Jacob, glorious things are said of you, O city of God. All the nations praise the Lord. I tell of Egypt and Babylon, among those who knew the Lord, of Philistia, Tyre, and Ethiopia. This man was born here, and of Zion they shall say, One and all were born in her, and he who has established her is the Most High Lord. All the nations praise the Lord. They shall not note when the peoples are enrolled. This man was, they shall note when the peoples are enrolled. This man was born here. And they shall sing in their festive dance. My home is within you. All the nations praise the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them and they follow me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, Lord. The feast of the dedication was taking place in Jerusalem. It was winter. And Jesus walked about in the temple area on the portico of Solomon. So the Jews gathered around him and said to him, 
How long are you going to keep us in suspense? If you are the Christ, tell us plainly. Jesus answered them, I told you, and you do not believe. The works that I do in my Father's name testify to me, but you do not believe, because you are not among my sheep. My sheep hear my voice. I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish. No one can take them out of my hand. My Father who has given them to me is greater than all, and no one can take them out of the Father's hand. The Father and I are one. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Well, everybody, welcome back. Uh, it's interesting because uh, Jesus, uh, Jesus always tells us about the Father, about the Holy Spirit. I and the Father are one. Uh, it is because of him that we truly, as Christians, believe in a Trinitarian God. Uh, so much so that when we baptize people at the very beginning of the stage of them becoming Christian, uh, usually as infants before they remember it, we baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Matter of fact, our Catholic Church recognizes if any church, any Christian denomination, baptizes children in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, we recognize it as valid. So a person doesn't have to be rebaptized when they come to the church. You get baptized one time. You have the sacrament. You have the seal of baptism planted on your soul. Uh, and, and so I do find also interesting in this. Uh, I love this first reading. Um, at the very end, it says, For a whole year, they, uh, St. Saul, well, St. Paul, um, also known as Saul, certainly, of Tarsus, um, he, and, he and some of the others in the church uh, were coming together, and he was learning a whole lot about Jesus through this time. Uh, and it says, for a whole year they met with the church and taught a large number of people. And it was in Antioch that the disciples were first called Christians. Uh, so, you know, when you, when you go through history and just see things as they transpire. You know, at one point around the year 73, 74, 75 AD uh, in, in Antioch, people are being called Christian. Uh, another 50 years later, they're being called Catholics. Uh, Catholic with a small C, meaning universal, of course. And then at some point in time, it's like the Catholic Church, which a, with a capital C, uh, even, though, um, even though it initially started out meaning universal, then it became the universal church uh, as our name. So that Christians, uh, so Christians following Jesus Christ, um, and, and, and I do believe formally, firmly, we have to make at some point in our lives that decision. You know, it kind of seems like with the Jews, and it, whenever they say the Jews, they're always talking about, hmm, most of the time, when the gospel writers say the Jews, they're talking about the Jewish leadership. Uh, so just, we have to make sure we have that down because some things when we say, well, the Jews said, well, it's not, it's a very small percentage of the leadership of the Jews, much less all Jews that said or believed certain things. Many of the Jews, if you will, the, 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 the non-leadership uh, was probably confused to some degree. Some of the ones in Jerusalem believed in Jesus as being the Messiah. Others in this case were asking him, but. But then Jesus is getting uppity with them. It's like, look, I've given you all the information you need. At this point in time, if you're not choosing to follow me and you just keep wanting to have signs, you, well, tell us clearly, tell us plainly. How many times do I have to tell you this? He told them that when, he was, when they were about to crucify him on the night of the Passover. He says, I am, I am God, basically. I am, and you will see the power of the Son of God. And like, well, you're blaspheming, so we have to kill you. Well, it's like, you're blaspheming if you're not telling the truth. I mean, if you're saying I'm God and you're not God, then either you're a liar, a lunatic, or you're really God, is what it comes down to. And so in our hearts, we have to choose that, and certainly if we've already chosen it, which would be an obvious reason as to why we're either watching Mass uh, at home or, or here in person, um, means that we've already hit a point of saying, I believe in God. But there are those times where we're in the in the... In our lives, we have to make a definitive decision, but sometimes it's more than a one-time decision. At times, there are times of having to come back to Jesus and say, Lord, give me more faith, give me more grace, give me more inspiration to not only believe in you, but then because of my strong belief in you, the grace and power that I need to, to invite other people to come to know you as well. Uh, that's what it means to be Christians, to tell other people about Jesus. This is how we all learn, is by somebody telling us uh, certainly, certainly, uh, children we should tell, grandchildren, anybody else in the life world uh, that we can invite in and say, hey, this is what I know about Jesus. And, and, um, and, and anyway, so that's what the Lord is doing here. But some people are going to believe and some aren't. Uh, that's just, I don't get that. I don't understand why everybody doesn't just believe when you hear it. It's like, well, I, I guess we just have to get to that point in our own lives and hearts where it kind of sinks in and we're like, yes, you must be God. You must be the Messiah. You must be everything you said you were. 
in R, uh, and then help me to believe that um, so I can continue to follow you and invite other people to know you as well. May God continue to bless us in the name of the Father and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. My brothers and sisters, let us now lift up our intentions to our Lord. For the intentions of Pope Francis, for everything our church is doing, for the salvation of all souls, we pray to the Lord. Now, Lord, Lord pray our prayer. For today's Mass intention, for Cindy Spence and her family, for Tuesday, April 27th, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For uh, everyone on the Mass intention hotline, in particular today, the, for the Beverly Kangalosi, Rosemary Pizza, Jeremy and Brianna, Scotty, John Crivey, all of their families, and as I mentioned, everybody else in the prayer and intention hotline, we pray to the Lord. That leaders of Christ's earthly flock may be faithful shepherds in his name, we pray to the Lord. That our works may plainly reveal our faith in the Good Shepherd, we pray to the Lord. And that the dead may live forever in unity with the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all, we pray for this day? For the poor souls in purgatory, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For special intention and in thanksgiving, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. To the end of the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Kevin and Pam, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father of your people, in Christ, the Lamb, you have made us one flock of many members. Hear us as we gather in his name and strengthen us to show plainly in our works our faith in the one you sent, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. For to the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. For to the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and of all the of the church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts. Sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, host, heaven and earth, earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come in. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Gregory, our Bishop, and all the clergy, remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, with St. Mary Magdalene, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Lord is now, now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not at our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of Christ. Peace, 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 peace. 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 Lamb of God, you take, you take away, away the sins, sins of the world. Have, have mercy on us. us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. <clears throat> Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord not, worthy. not worthy. You should you enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. If those at home, please join me in an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. 
Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As you have already come, I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen indeed. that Christ had to suffer and rise from the dead, and so enter into his glory. Hallelujah. Let us pray. <laughs> Hear, O Lord, our prayers, that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorify the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Saint Michael, Michael the, the Archangel, Archangel and defend us in battle. In battle. Be, be our protection against, against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May, May God rebuke them when we come to pray. pray. And to thou, O Prince of Heaven and Host, host by the power of God, God cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits, spirits the proud rock the world, seeking for the soul. Amen. Amen. My brothers and sisters in Christ, God bless you guys. Have a nice day and a nice evening wherever you are. God bless you. Thank you.